Hi, Daddy, what's up? Well, I've written a, a story that I want to read to you. Oh, okay. It's entitled Touch. We are experiencing a pandemic. This is serious. Health professionals are advising us to practice social distancing. No handshaking, no embracing. Stay well apart from other human beings. That's hard for a guy who likes to give bear hugs to Buddy, an old basketball teammate. I miss touching, but I was missing it well before the current pandemic. My wife of 62 years died almost eight years ago, and we touched a lot. When we walked on the prairie path, we often held hands. In old age, when she had spinal stenosis, I gripped her arm between my arm and ribs to make sure she didn't fall. We were 16 when we started dating. We dated for five months before she allowed me to kiss her. We dated five years before I dared to ask her to marry me. Many times in those years, we would arrive at her farm home after her parents and sisters had gone to bed. We would enter the back door and stand together against the kitchen sink, hugging each other and wishing this moment would never end. Our cheeks touched and we talked into the morning hours. Saying goodnight was so difficult. It meant losing touch. When I look back on my boyhood, I think I know why touch is so important to me. It's because I was touched. I remember it in so many ways. After dinner, I would sit in my dad's lap with my ear touching his chest, listening to his voice coming from its very source as his loving arms enfolded me. Sitting on the day bed next to the Atwater Kent radio, my siblings and I were next to our mom, listening to our favorite comedy shows as she gave us our turns of back scratches. We returned the favor by taking turns giving her hair combings. She loved to have her hair combed. I remember her telling us that her papa once told her that her hair was her crowning glory. I remember sitting on my grandpa's lap and touching his whiskers on a rare day when he didn't shave and touching my grandma's soft cheek as she read the story and I held my Peter Pan doll. As I got to know my great grandfather at a family reunion, he let me touch his prized pocket watch and the fob at the other end of the gold chain. Every night, mom tucked me into bed, pulling the covers up to my chin before touching my cheek and giving me a kiss, and then moving to the other side of the bed to do the same for my little brother. Vern and I slept together until I was 10, and I got Uncle Les's room when he married and moved away. Vern and I also touched. It was a good way to stay warm. Our parents believed that bedrooms should have open windows for fresh air in winter as well as in summer. Covers were piled on. But nevertheless, we soon learned that sleeping back to back felt awfully good. In addition, we often gave each other 50 back scratches before going to sleep. As siblings do, we both counted to be certain we were not cheated. Our living room had a rug, and I felt it very cozy to lie on the floor with my dog who was just as pleased as I to be touched. So 
here we are. I'm an old man living alone in the middle of a pandemic and being told to isolate. We're all trying to stay in touch by sending emails and other high-tech communication, but it's not quite the same. Back when we were still socializing, going to dinners, receptions and such, sometimes I surprisingly found myself touching the elbow or shoulder of a man or a woman as we chatted. I'm guessing that happened sometime as I leaned in close to the person in order to minimize the fact that my hearing aids were magnifying the volume of every other voice in the room. At any rate, when I touch in that way, I don't want to invade personal space and I certainly do not want to offend anyone. So whether you're a man or a woman, because of the way I was raised, if I'm touching you, it's because I like you and I enjoy being close to you, close enough to touch. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, can't touch our faces. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you i love you so much <laughs> <laughs> i'm reaching out to touch you yes <laughs> oh i love you daddy <laughs>